Hi everybody, it's me Julie and I'm here today with what I hope will be a fairly quick review on the world famous neutrals Inessa's Sexiest Nudes Ever eyeshadow kit from Benefit and I recently purchased this from Sephora about two weeks ago so I thought I'd tell you my impressions of it. Uh, first off, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there was about three or four different shade ranges, and they had, you know, just your normal neutrals, something a little bit warmer. And then I saw this one, which I quite liked because it's got some tones that I don't have really in my collection. There is this one kind of out there, wacky kind of silvery shade called Blingo, which is a really sparkly. Um, sh well, it's not really sparkly. It's just a very nice kind of shimmery metallic silver. And that's a shade that I, you know, probably won't wear all that often, but makes a nice kind of very subtle inner corner, if you put it on subtly, inner corner highlight. And the other thing I like to do with shades like this is when I'm done, sometimes I'll just dab them in the middle of my eyelid so that it just kind of gives you a little bit of light. Like, it's kind of like a spotlight there. So you can see that's what it looks like on. But then the other shades in here are just nice kind of rosy, pinky toned neutrals that I don't have in my collection. So that's why I purchased this, just because it was new. There's, the shades were quite different for me. Anyway, so let me show you these other shades. So this kind of main neutral shade is called Pause for Applesauce, and it's just a very nice... It's not matte, it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but overall it's just a really nice kind of soft shade that looks really nice all over the lids. It's a little bit close to my own natural skin tone, so you're probably not going to be able to see it very well. But then this shade up here, called Rain Shack, is a very nice kind of rosy, brown, plummy shade. That description was not very good. What it is is just a nice kind of dark mauve. It's very nice. So you can see that they, you know, kind of, they're just nice and light in shades and have kind of a mauve tone to them that you might not necessarily have in your collection. And then this highlight shade is beautiful. This is called Milk It. And when I first saw it, I thought it was just, you know, a vanilla shade. But actually when you put it on, it has a nice kind of pinky, peachy undertone to it, so it's not so stark on your eyelids. You can see there, it's actually kind of nice and peachy. So there's Paws for Applesauce, Blingo, Milk It, and then Rain Check. So very nice. And what you can tell by looking at those swatches there is these are not in your face like POW colors. That's why they're really great for kind of everyday wear. I actually really, really like them. They are, um, they're very well pigmented. They blend really nicely. They've got really nice color payoff, but they're not, you know, over the top in your face, you know, full on color, which is nice for when you want to, you know, just wear shadows every day or like wear to work or, or whatever. But the other thing that's great about this is not only do you get the four eye shadows, but you get these two little, um, creaseless cream shadows. And why I picked this set up, too, is I thought it was a really great kind of value. It was $36 here in Canada. And for that, you got the four shadows and the two creaseless, these little mini creaseless cream shadow pots. And they're actually a fairly decent size. You get 3.2 grams in here, which, to be honest, I think is good. Like, if you're not wearing these as bases every single day, a lot of my cream shadows have a tendency to kind of dry out in the drawer before I use them all, so this is a nice size. These are slightly different than uh, ones that I've used before, like MAC Paint Pots or even the Maybelline Color Tattoos, in that they've got a little bit of a lighter consistency and they're a little bit creamier, almost like more liquidy in texture, whereas like the MAC Paint Pots and the Maybelline Color Tattoos have a drier kind of feel to them when you're putting them on. So the shades that you get are Bikini Teeny, which is just a nice um, kind of champagne-y color, one that you've seen lots of times before. And then uh, this is Holy Smoke, so if you want to go with us, if you want to put this on underneath to kind of put these sh shadows on top and have like a darker base so you get a more dramatic look, that's that, and it's just a really nice kind of warm gray tone. And with these cream shadows, I gotta tell you, a little goes a long way because of the fact that they're a little bit 
uh, creamier than I'm used to. I was putting, you know, you get like, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all this extra stuff? So there's Bikini Teeny, and then there's Holy Smoke. So all together, these, you know, have a very nice, they work very well together, and you can mix and match the colors quite easily and come up with a bunch of different looks. Just to help you out, there's these little cards inside the top here that tell you how to do And then in here there's a little mirror and inside the lid there's two little cards telling you how to create a, you know, an everyday look and then a more dramatic nighttime look. But then you can just play and mix and match and do whatever you want with them as far as I'm concerned. So overall I'm really impressed with this. I think the colors are really nice. They're very complimentary if you've got a lighter skin tone like I have. Uh, as I said, I like the fact that they're not over the top, you know, as far as colors go, but at the same time they're not wimpy you know sometimes you get these kind of lighter shades and then there's no color payoff at all these have really nice as I said pigmentation blendability they're not chalky they're nice and creamy um, the stain power is pretty good on them especially when you layer them over top of the little cream pots and uh, what I really like about the um, the cream pots is or sorry the creaseless cream shadows is I thought because they were so kind of uh, creamy and slippery on the lids I thought oh these are gonna stay greasy they're gonna crease they actually they dry down really well they don't they don't dry to a powder finish they just kind of dry to a I can't really describe the finish but it doesn't feel dry or powdery once they've dried and they really don't crease and they do help the shadows stick around a little bit longer so I don't know how they would work on somebody who had like exceptionally oily eyelids because I don't have quite dry eyelids but uh, they work really well and they don't feel dry and they don't crease so I think that was a pretty good way to try out these to see if you like them or not and you know the great thing about the packaging too is you can take this little tray out and then you've got a little box to store other things in if you want. And the other thing that I should mention is just the finish of these shadows. But, uh, the reason why I bought this one as opposed to getting one from Too Faced or Urban Decay is the fact that um, they had a really nice kind of finish to them so that there wasn't glitter in them. There's a little bit, the finest, like you can almost see just the tiny, tiny, tiniest little bit of shimmer in these. And I liked that a lot because they weren't full of glitter. A lot of times uh, I find the Too Faced shadows are a little bit too metallic sometimes. And then the Urban Decay ones, a lot of them tend to be like really full of glitter. And so these were just a really nice kind of not completely matte, but just not too shiny either. And I think they work really well um, for someone of my age. Not that that's relevant at all, but you know. Just think for an everyday neutral, can't go wrong with that kind of finish. Okay, so there you go. That's my review of the world famous neutrals Inessa's Sexiest Nudes Ever eyeshadow kit with tips and tricks included from Benefit. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.